Dr. Tom Roselle live right now, 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. You're listening to Dr. Tom Roselle live. We are in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-WMAL. Love to talk to you on any subject. We're talking about computer pain, the kind of pain that your computer gives you, and it's devastating and it's epidemic and it affects everybody at every age across the board and it's getting worse and the thing that you have to understand is that this is a situation and we're not even talking about the electromagnetic fields which Dr. Scott uh, who's my guest today is going to talk about as well as musculoskeletal problems but the radiation exposures that go to your body listen if you're an employer like I am and you know we're a small business we employ something in the neighborhood about 24 people and but many of you employ hundreds and sometimes thousands this is a situation that can cost you millions upon millions of dollars it can also cause the people that uh, are involved in this their paychecks because once you're affected by repetitive stress patterns or partial positions that are not good and you're on the computer, uh, you've lost pay. And many of you aren't covered because you just don't have those benefits. But poor posture affects the nerves, affects uh, your musculoskeletal, it affects your endocrine system, so forth and so on. You know, there's three action steps. And one is that you have to learn that you can take control. You have to understand what your body's telling you. And you have to be able to take action immediately. And Dr. Lamp, Dr. Scott Lamp, is going to be covering those things this Wednesday evening, February the 23rd, as he talks about computer pain. And if you'd like to join him, 703-698-7117. That's how you get it done. Dr. Scott, when we come back after the news, there's a whole bunch of callers. And we're going to take a little time. We're going to, we're going to be respectful, and we're going to take those calls. But what I want you to do right now is talk to us a little bit about how serious and bad this thing really is. Well, I think if, any, if you have a laptop, let's just start there. And if you have a laptop and you don't have um, a plug-in or a separate keyboard you're using, you're automatically in an ergonomic nightmare. So right there, how many people have laptops? They're going to have some problems there. Um, because where the screen sits, then I have to raise my keyboard up, my shoulders, and I almost guarantee your shoulders are going to be nice and tight. And you might have to have your, your spouse, your loved one come along the side and kind of massage you in your shoulders. It's probably an issue of what your head position is, is where that screen is. How about cell phone texting? Oh, cell phones texting is terrible, too. Is it, it's like worse? It, it's, it's worse, and you've got kids now also with these handheld devices. So you've got things. There's a, there's a term that's going to be a little bit more prevalent called de Cravain's disease. And basically what it is, is overuse of the thumb. And as you know, and one of the major aspects or the most arthritic part of the body is the thumb. And you got to sit there constantly using that, the texting and dropping the head down and all those kind of things. Heck, we even got people walking to the fountains nowadays. From if you look at the, uh, I know it's ridiculous. They're sitting there, they're texting. They see kids. They say, "How are you moving and functioning texting?" They're sitting there. It's become not only a physical and structural nightmare, but it's also socially, as far as I'm concerned, insulting. You know, oh, when those, yes. when those, yeah. those. T- Cell phones out. Well, that's a whole sort of different story that I can get into. For the, and I have children out there listening to me right now. Said, "Well, you know what? Back in the day when the dinosaurs ruled the world, and that's you know that we're saying so. But the truth of it is, is that uh, texting and computer screens and postural patterns and so forth cause devastation to the body, and numbness and headaches and tingling and so forth, and the list goes on. So." You know, what do you see with these things? I mean, how do they present? I mean, we're talking about pain, but is there a very specific manifestation? Well, I mean, you're going to have, uh, basically, you're going to have, uh, uh, usually it's going to be neck soreness or tightness. You're going to have some things with the wrist, um, especially if you're doing some texting things. Right on the base of your thumb, your hand feels tight. Um, uh, the wrist might be feeling irritated. Um, if you try to extend your arm out, sometimes you feel like a little pain in the shoulder. You're going to have all those different kind of elements. Headaches are going to be part of it because if you're overusing the neck or you're dropping your head forward uh, or you're twisting your head in certain positions, you're going to overuse those muscles. Those muscles are going to be tight. They're going to create patterns, kind of like tr- uh, trigger point. They call trigger point patterns where you have a problem in one place and all of a sudden you feel pain in another. So headaches. Arm pain, um, neck pain, you can have back pain, elbow pain, you name it on the physical aspects of each joint that goes up from your fingers all the way up to your neck, down to your back, to your waist, all those can be part of it. So let me ask you one quick question. Fixable? Yes. Okay, so this is something that people can learn how to actually protect themselves with. Right. And also, they can also protect themselves from EMFs. 
Correct. So you're going to cover all those things this Wednesday evening, February 23rd at 7.30 p.m. If you'd like to attend Dr. Scott's lecture, 703-698-7117, and he, we will. He will. He'll get into the why. He's going to get into how to fix it. He's going to show you things that you can do to protect yourself because this stuff is preventable. It's not something that you have to live with. It's not something that you know, you're know you stuck with for the rest of your life. If you've been you know in any pain pattern, and we deal with so many of them in the office, of, you know, the, the, the postural pattern affects structure, affects the nerves, affects the endocrine system, affects immune function, and you really need to understand that. We have to take break for news and for some very important messages. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about why some of you can't get the weight off, even if you're being good and following your diet and exercising. There's some very specific nutrients and vitamins you need to know about. We're going to take phone calls that are coming in like crazy. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We're here at 888-630-9625. That's 888 wma I'd love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're talking about a very special topic. We're talking about computer pain. What happens when you're in the wrong posture pattern? What happens when you're exposed to electromagnetic fields? And this Wednesday evening, Dr. Scott Lamp, one of our colleagues, is going to be presenting computer pain and its effects on you, but more importantly, how you can get rid of the pain, postural patterns that make a difference. That's February 23rd, 7.30 p.m. at the Roselle Center for Healing. Call us at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tomography Centers of Fairfax, ongoing sponsor of Dr. Tom Roselle Live, is respecting, celebrating, and also helping you through this month of February, which is Breast Health Month. Dareth Painter, who is the head tomographer for... Thermography Centers wants you to know that thermographic imaging can detect the beginning stages of breast cancer, ladies, five to eight years before any mammographic examination will show it up. Normally $225 for your initial scan. She is offering that to you for 198 because you need to have early detection soon to do something about it. Call her at 703-943-7248. That's 703-943-7248. Ask for Dareth Painter, and she will schedule an appointment for you to have your wellness thermographic imaging to prevent breast cancer. This month only, normally 225 now for $198. Dr. Scott, we're talking about something that's extremely important. And But before we do that, I'd like to go to the phones because people have been waiting very patiently. Tom from D.C., how can I help you, sir? Thank you for being so patient. <laughs> Not a problem. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. great. We're going to do good, better good, good. when we get outside, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm calling this. Uh, my, my, uh, my thing's way off topic, but <clears throat> starting about six or eight weeks ago, I got your, started out with your typical what felt like it was going to be a regular common cold. Uh, Sore throat, congestion, um, my lymph nodes were, uh, were swollen, um, felt like I had like marbles underneath my tongue, they were pretty swollen, whatever. I go to the urgent care, they say, uh, I had an ear infection as well. Um, um, I go to the urgent care, they give me a, uh, I can't remember the name of the antibiotic, but they give me a five day antibiotic. I start to feel better after the first couple of days. Within a week or two after taking the first set of antibiotics, I'm getting the same symptoms again. I go back to the urgent care, they give me a set of, uh, 10 day antibiotics. Um, I also had the ear infection, everything again. Um, I take the 10-day antibiotics within two to three days after being on antibiotics. I feel great. Um, within a week or two, uh, within a week after being off the antibiotics, <clears throat> I start feeling the exact same symptoms again, uh, minus the ear infection, but the you know swollen underneath, of, like underneath my jawline and the throat, um, real bad congestion. It's in the lungs, everything. I just get off of 14 days of antibiotics this go around, and, that, and now it's starting up again. Yeah, and I don't know if that's just something that's going around, if that's abnormal or... No, it's very it's abnormal for you to have it reoccurring like this. It's abnormal for anybody to get sick, period. You shouldn't get sick if your immune system is strong. And so what this tells me is that this is a typical pattern. We've seen so much of it in our practice over the last several months. It's a superimposed bacterial infection. What's happening is your immune system isn't strong enough to handle the primary condition, so you've got all these bugs that are normally there, and as soon as you get rid of the antibiotic, you start, you know, they just regrow again because you have other things in your system. So uh, what I would suggest to you is, one, what you're doing is, isn't working, and, but uh, what you have to do is begin to repair the underlying problem. Uh, you want to go to a health food store first and, and get a very strong probiotic. Uh, that's a good bacteria that's in your intestinal system, and you need to uh, take 
uh, whatever, whatever, and you're going to have to start slowly because if, at this point you've got mold and fungus and yeast in your body as a result of what you've been taking. If, um, uh, if it says one capsule a day, you're probably going to end up taking like 12, but you want to take one three times a day, then two, three times a day, and so forth. The, I would go straight without knowing your condition and so forth. I'm going to give you things that easily work, and unless you know you're allergic to them, uh, in that case, don't, don't touch them. Uh, liquid garlic from Herb Farm, E-R-B-P-H-A-R-M, is a, is a manufacturer, Herb Farm. Uh, if you're not allergic to it, garlic, uh, the allicin is the active component, is, uh, will fight molds, fungus, and also strep infections. And so you, what you do is you take the maximum dose of jhana, take it three times a day, and then add golden seal to it. Again, unless you're allergic to it, uh, you should be okay with it. And again, Herb Farm will produce that. Take that three times a day, and the combination should help you. But you've got to restore normal function. The other thing that I would tell you to do is if you don't take vitamin D on a regular basis, go to the health food store, have them give you a good form of vitamin D. You want to crank it up right now to probably about 8,000 to 10,000 units a day. Stay with that for about 30 days. And the combination uh, should begin to help you. If I can be a further help, uh, get a hold of me at rosellecare.com. Drop me a note, and uh, you know we'll talk about it. If we can be of help to you in the office, please give us a call. But without knowing the particular situation, Tom, that seems to be what's been going out there. We've been treating a lot of patients. The, uh, if it's not treated the right way, the different herbs that affect different bacteria and, and uh, different fungal problems change. Yeah, there's another thing, too. We're talking about detox pathways. You heal from the inside out, and some of those things need to come from the inside and pushed out. And a lot of the things that you've been taking, the antibiotics, you're actually suppressing and pushing and holding things back in. So there's elements of you've really got to get that stuff out, get it out of the body, stop suppressing it. And that's one of the key things with Tom is talking about some of the information in regards to the, uh, the nutrition, but also there's some other things. I think uh, even the possibility of a hot water bath of some sort also, yeah. to bring those things out, get the sweat out, get some of those things out. Lymphatic drainage is another one that would work really well. Tom, one of the things that you want to make sure you don't do anything uh, of and make sure it's out of your body completely, nothing that has any sugar in it whatsoever. One teaspoon of white sugar, the equivalent, will decrease your body's immune function, so you can't fight this thing. Get the get uh, dairy out of your, your body, get gluten out of your body, and get the uh, the sweets out, and then you'll find that your body will have a fighting chance. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, let me know how you make out.